Hi guys, it's Kat from Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. I am here to share a journal I made. Um, this journal is um, already sold and it is titled Mariposa. As you can tell from the front, it's got lots of butterflies. It's the spine with five signatures and that is the back. Oops, I need to turn the auto focus off. Okay, so I made this cover from um, chipboard and I covered it with some, I believe it's muslin, and then I painted it with three or four different colors and then I added napkin and this metal butterfly here. Sorry about the shadows. And we're just gonna flip through it. So inside we have, um, some card stock scrapbook paper. I don't remember from what paper pad, but I titled it Mariposa and my name and 2021. And then I cut this out of a piece of uh, K and Company paper. I took butterflies and glued them to the um, edge of the page. And then I sewed down it and then I added blue liquid pearls. Let's see if you can see that better if it focuses. Yeah. Sorry. I hate autofocus. Okay. Here we have a quote and a um, I die cut out some butterflies. This is one a caterpillar. When the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. We have a piece of um, paper here that I just tore and added another quote. I'm not going to read them all to you. There's a little pocket here. And this is embossed paper that I used um, Distress Stink on. I'm crooked. And just a punch, um, another die cut butterfly there. I left the strings from the sewing on. They can be removed by the buyer. Just a little note card type thing in there. This, most of this paper has been from Amy at Darkwood Sanctuary and some of it I dyed myself. This was from Digital Curio and I bought one of her kits and I just fussy cut this out and glued it in. I love how it turned out. A little piece of scrap paper that they tore and added the quote over. The quote is from Maya Angelou. A little butterfly. Then I took the cover of a paper pad and I punched butterflies with a Martha Stewart punch and backed them to make little tabs. And they are also on the strings in the center of the pages. And this I used an ed edge punch for and it just opens up all the way out and then opens it up all the way over this way. So so you have plenty of space to write. And we have some scrapbook paper. There's a little bit of washi tape there and some washi here. And then I took some of the digital curio paper and printed them out to make little writing spots. I wanted it to have lots and lots of butterflies. And there's a couple pockets here with some tags that I made. this one. I will try to link uh, Digital Curio and this piece of paper is Amnity Bloom. And these are Amy's and then I did some stamping on the pages, some of the pages. These are little um, butterfly stickers but I just thought they were gorgeous so and a journaling card there. It says butterflies cannot see their wings. They do not know how beautiful they are, but everyone else can. People are like that too. Yeah, this is the second signature and we have some stamped butterflies there and some more um, butterflies sewn to the edge of the page. We have a pocket here. You can write on that. 
some more edged punched paper, another little tab. These are um, digital collage clubs, butterflies, center of the signature. I have forgotten how many pages is in this. Some stamping and then I die embossed this paper. Like that. I love this butterfly. It's digital collage club. And I just like the texture that that gives. And I just added a little stamp, a faux stamp. I think I got at AliExpress. And then this is removable. She can put it wherever she would like. There's lots of purples and just a lot of nice colors in here. I made this envelope. She can put whatever she wants in it. This is held down with a paper clip. But it just flips open and it's got a little journaling card and then this is like another little tuck spot. My printer only printed part of the butterfly so I thought a cute print sticking out there. Sometimes mess ups turn into good things. Another set of butterflies down the edge of the page. A little cluster of butterflies in the corner. And this was an embossing folder and there's some butterflies here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe. And then I just printed out some little squares to put in the little square of it. If I could speak. A little butterfly in that one. And the butterfly tab. And we have an envelope here. I haven't put anything in it. It is one of Amy's dyed um, envelopes. And over here we have paper. I know the person who bought it is a journaler, so I she can take these out and put them wherever she wants them in the book. Another one of those little embossed um, folders that I did couple little journaling cards and then this is just a um, not just a it's a die cut card and I put butterflies I got these at Aliexpress let me slide in there oops we have a die cut actually I fussy cut this and it's just holding a couple tags more butterflies in the corner and we have a, a larger pocket here and this is one of curio digital curios papers and I thought how cute is that she could journal right over that lots of room in there to put what she wants we have some purple stamping some more butterflies this is glued down just to bring some butterflies into the page Another piece of that em embossed paper. Another embossed, this is just, I put it in as a little flip. There's some stamping here. And this is another piece of Amity, Am I cannot say her name. Amity Bloom. I get tongue tied every time. There's a large tag I'm in. Sew it around it. A belly band that's behind it. Or it's behind. This is um another edge punched piece of paper. Then we have a torn paper here and it's got just some journaling spaces that she can write on or add to her book anywhere she wants it and then you've got this journaling card that I made here or tag I made here lots of room to write more butterflies on the strings for the center back side of that almost looks like a doily but it's a, it's just punched out coffee dyed paper this flips up and flips down so she can write and then there's a pocket behind it. It's got a journaling card. 
in it. And we have two more pockets. With some tags, I mean. I love this one. I love them both, but I really like the colors in the other one. Back side of that card that was embossed. And butterflies. And we have a torn piece of paper and we have a butterfly journaling card. And then these, I got these at Hobby, Hobby Lobby, I believe. They were in the section for like bulletin boards, but I thought, how cute. So I just put some in here randomly for her to use wherever she wanted to. This one is double side of butterflies. This side has the um, blue dots, and then this one does not. This comes off from the paper clip, and it's just a piece that you can journal in or under or add a picture, whatever you want. I try to add spaces for everything as a journaler. I like to have a place to put my thoughts and my pictures. And butterflies. Perhaps the butterfly is proof that you can go through a great deal of darkness yet come out but become something beautiful. This is embossed with some little butterflies here. It's hard to see but a little butterfly there. A little collage there. And we have another little partial pocket that says you are the greatest project you will ever work on. And we have, this is a die cut and then I die cut a butterfly in the center. Another one of those ones I got from um, Hobby Lobby and then this one I die cut. Added the sticker and then made it look glossy in part of it. So My um, glossy accents and I had an argument. <laughs> There's more butterflies on the string. Another little dimensional butterfly there. There's a couple of them here. These are my favorite butterflies in the whole world. They're from Darice, and I can't find any more of them. Another one of those butterflies, and then just a couple blank tags with some lace on them. And then this is an embossed folder, and I cut this out so it has a window there so she can put something with a picture behind it. I just made this, let me glue that down. Made this little card with some watercolor crayons and different butterflies. And then this is a full sheet of butterfly paper that I have set down that she can use anywhere in the book, or she can just use it to write on. more stamping. I've had this in my stash forever. And it says, don't quit before the miracle happens. There's another butterfly. And then we have a butterfly. Um, this is embossed. And then I put a piece of lace over it and a little butterfly. And then there's a journal card. And my finger stork, right? And another one of those little butterflies. And on this side we have two little cut out little tags that she could use as labels or whatever and another butterfly on top and the back page says lovely day which was the name of the paper pad but i just i like the font and i liked what it said she has another piece of embossed paper that she can use a cut out butterfly die cut tag and a journaling card and then it says here butterflies Flowers that fly and all that sing. Robert Frost. And there's the back. So that is the journal I've made. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And let me know what you think. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.